One of the many subjects taught at HCC is government. Now we all remember government classes in high school and probably groan at the memory. But how much better would those memories be if the teacher had been an honest-to-goodness legislator? Meet Kevin Bailey. Well, I actually was, uh, when I got out of graduate school, was a full-time faculty member at North Harris College back early 80s. And I left in 1986 and went to work for a city councilman as the chief of staff in the city of Houston, uh, Dale Gorczynski, and spent four, four and a half years at City Hall. And while I was there, uh, I guess in 19, around 1990, uh, the state rep in my district passed away. So I ran for the legislature, got elected in 1990, and uh, re-elected repeatedly in state until 2000, January of 09 was when I got out, so 18 years uh, in the legislature started independently lobbying in the 09 session of the legislature. And it went fairly well, but uh, probably the biggest thing was the continual travel back and forth to Austin, spending most of my time in Austin. Uh, my wife wasn't real pleased with me continuing to do that. Uh, I was frankly getting tired of the travel, driving back and forth uh, every week and being in a you know a hotel room half the time and it got old. So I began looking around for some other options, uh, but uh, uh, I saw HCC had a full-time position here due to her retirement, and I thought I had talked to the department head uh, a couple of years before about possibly uh, coming back to teaching, but decided against it. Well, this time I thought, I need to settle down. So I, uh, <laughs> I applied and was fortunate enough to get off of the job, and here I am. As citizens, we need to know what the issues are, problems are, and possible uh, solutions. I think that part of the frustration people have is that they don't know how to uh, affect the process. And hopefully I can give them some ideas in that direction. I mean, I, I have an academic background in political science uh, and have taught full-time and part-time for many years, so I, I have a good grasp, I think, of the classroom, but I probably have a little different uh, background than most of the instructors being that I uh, was in politics both at city and state levels and so I have a little different perspective perhaps and and can relate a lot of that to the students and and give them some ideas uh, the process is frustrating sometimes uh, and I think one of the things that happens with citizens is they they want to accomplish something they want to either you know get something for that, for that community or pass some legislation but they get worn out because it takes a long time to get there. And I, I try to let them know that if you don't give up, if you keep pushing, keep working, you sometimes can have an impact. Uh, it's hard, it's difficult sometimes, but, but I've seen and experienced many cases where people have been successful. I think the community college experience is important. When I first started teaching, first taught a class at HCC many years ago, uh, HCC was using the, the public high schools uh, and middle schools and the facilities weren't the greatest. Uh, they did as good a job as was possible, but what I've seen over the years is they've really improved not just the facilities, the faculty, the, the employees, and it's really uh, a much uh, better and improved and very good institution and I think it's a great opportunity for students. Students who can't afford to go to, to university right away students who maybe aren't prepared yet to go to the university can come here, get a quality education, and uh, prepare them for, uh, whether it be tra technical training or university uh, experience later. So I think it's a very good uh, opportunity, and I've enjoyed uh, being here. For HCC Beat, this is Randall Williams.